Welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to source for all things gaming. Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about games of the year, Black Myth Wukong. But we're not just here to rave about its stunning visuals or groundbreaking gameplay. No, today we're tackling the cultural clash that sparked intense debate across the globe. How has this game, rooted in Chinese mythology, taken the gaming world by storm? And why is it stirring up so much controversy, especially in the West? Let's jump in. First, let's talk about the game's massive success in China. Black Myth, Wukong has hit over 2 million concurrent players on Steam, setting a new record for single-player games. It's no surprise considering the game is deeply rooted in Chinese mythology, specifically the classic tale journey to the West. This cultural connection has resonated powerfully with Chinese gamers who see the game as a proud representation of their heritage. The game's developer, Game Science, has cleverly tapped into this, creating a narrative and visual style that feels authentically Chinese. Now let's contrast that with how the game has been received in the West. While it's been generally praised for its innovative gameplay and stunning graphics, there's also been a fair share of criticism. Some Western reviewers have been less enthusiastic, pointing out issues like bland level design and performance hiccups. But beyond the technical critiques, there's a deeper cultural disconnect. Many Western players might not fully grasp the rich cultural and mythological references that make the game so special in China. This gap in understanding can lead to a lukewarm reception or worse, a misinterpretation of the game's intent. But it's not just about cultural differences. The game's developer, Game Science, has found itself in hot water over some controversial practices. Reports have surfaced about sexist language used by the CEO, and a leaked document revealed that influencers were asked to avoid topics like politics and feminism when discussing the game. These issues have sparked a significant backlash, particularly in Western media, where such behavior is heavily scrutinized. This has led to a broader conversation about whether we can or should separate art from the artist. This whole situation highlights just how important cultural context is in gaming. What works in one region might not resonate the same way in another. Black Myth Wukong is a perfect example of a game that's a cultural phenomenon in its home country, but faces a more complex reception abroad. It raises questions about how games can bridge these cultural divides and whether global audiences can appreciate the nuances of a story rooted in a specific culture. Of course, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Black Myth, Wukong? Do you see it as a masterpiece that transcends cultural boundaries or do you think it's a game that struggles to connect with a global audience? And what are your thoughts on the controversy surrounding the developer? Can we separate the art from the artist? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to Joystick News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. We'll catch you in the next one, but until then, keep gaming and keep the discussion going.